Same I take refuge in the Guru, I take refuge in the Buddha, I take refuge in the Dharma, I take refuge in the Sangha. From now until my enlightenment, I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. And by the merit creating this practice, may I attain the state of Buddhahood for the benefit of all sentient beings. May all sentient beings enjoy happiness and causes. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and causes. May all sentient beings never be separated from joyful bliss. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free of bias, attachment, and anger. This ground, anantu with perfume, strewn with flowers, Mount Meru, encircled by the four continents, surmounted by the sun and the moon, I visualize this Buddha field and offer it. May all living beings enjoy the pure land. Oh, yeah, that's how much I'm dressed this year. There are no doubt, my good. One of the latest no good to get to this good deal. Chatter chickens. Good morning to you all. Thank you for attending this morning's uh, Dharma practice to talk with me. Um, so, first of all, and today, uh, we would like to uh, practice uh, uh, Dara um, mantra recitation and then meditate, uh, practice meditation. After that, I'm going to continue the training of the mind. <laughs> ตัวนี้มูดกันมาปัสสิชิดปัสสุปิติมูดนะที่จิตปัสสุปิติมูดนะที่จิตปัสสุปิติมูดนะที่จิตปัสสุปิติมูดนะที่จิตปัสสุป
So uh, first of all, like Omdari is a uh, is a, uh, is a prayer and a call and uh, upon the Tara, uh, the the wisdom uh, mother uh, Buddha uh, of uh, 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 in this context uh, the Tara herself. So we are seeking for the refuge on a, uh, uh, in the Torah, and because uh, Torah is the one who has this uh, power um, and to free our, uh, uh, each of uh, us, uh, whoever prayer to her, and, and uh, uh, free from uh, the afflictions or afflictive emotions, and any afflictions, cause uh, the uh, affliction and the cause of the afflictions, and uh, or in other words, and that, uh, by prayer to Tara, said Om Dari, and say, uh, I seeking refuge or taking uh, the, the refuge in you, and the uh, Western mother, and uh, so the uh, the Tara will then uh, um, help us to uh, free ourselves from ultimately and uh, free from the two obscurations and the obscurations of uh, afflictive emotion and uh, obscurations to the uh, knowledge. And so that's uh, what the first uh, uh, Omdari means. Then uh, Omdari Dudari is, uh, means that to, uh, so the Tara has this ability and um, who would uh, uh, give us whatever you know, we were uh, asking for uh, in this particular context, uh, you know, and uh, generally speaking, of course, it will uh, help us to free our uh, the sufferings from caused by the uh, birth uh, and aging, illness and the death in this particular context. And so when you go down and say, Om Dari Du Dari Duri so hard, it's that uh, so the Torah is the one who not only can give, grant us uh, the uh, whatever the, uh, the the things which we uh, uh, have needed or we wanted to have, uh, and then in the temporary sense, but in the, also in the ultimate sense, and uh, give us uh, the uh, whatever the uh, all the wish and uh, fulfill uh, our all the wishes that can be fulfilled. So therefore, it's undari to dari duri soha is uh, and, uh, uh, essentially is a ten letter, and um, so you go seeking for the refuge in the Buddha uh, in the uh, Torah, and uh, yes, so particularly in this uh, in today's situation, is free our, ourselves and all sentient beings from the, the sufferings caused by this uh, terrible virus. So one of the most important thing uh, while you are in the uh, practice of the uh, mantra, the Tara recitation, and remember that uh, so you need to uh, uh, have this a strong sense of devotion, a sense of uh, seeking for protection from Tara herself. Uh, so in other words, you need to have uh, the faith and trust and um, in uh, uh, place all your uh, uh, faith in her. Um, and then, so once you get that, Generate this a, a strong devotion, a sense of uh, a sense of devotion and a strong faith. Then what you need to do is that uh, this sense of uh, devotion or the, uh, the trust is ha has to be um, manifested in the state of uh, very uh, great uh, relaxation, meaning that mentally you feel really relaxed and uh, so you're totally sort of open, right? And uh, you know, to uh, the Tara's protection, her guide, spiritual guidance, her uh, blessings. And so this blessings, been, you've been uh, really uh, directly uh, receive it, you can feel it, and then, uh, that's your experience. So in this state of uh, total relaxation and open and free, uh, uh, the state of freedom, uh, state of open and uh, uh, the, uh, the mind, which is free from the fear. 
and uh, or any afflictions, then start think, thinking you have a, a, a been uh, benefited in such a way. And so now anyone start, start from you and uh, you know or you don't know and uh, all sentient beings also equally uh, received the, the such a blessing and also in appreciated this state of uh, total freedom and total openness and uh, relaxations. And then you recite in the mantra, uh, invoking the more blessings or the uh, total, uh, uh, the blessings in the, in the, in the, in the total, uh, total sense.
Um dare do dare do re zo, 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 ตัวเราเราบอกว่าตัวเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเ
the individual practitioner you know, have to have uh, and three things in, uh, in each of uh, us's mind. First of all, we have to understand uh, our fear, recognize that uh, we do have the fear, acknowledge it. Um, and then once you recognize that there is a fear in the sense of uncertainty or anything that uh, uh, distress you, and then generate the faith, right? uh, generate a thought that you want to free yourself from such a uh, disaster or sense of misery, a sense of uh, uh, fear. You want to free yourself. So that's the second uh, thing you have to uh, make sure you have to have it. Uh, you want to be successful in this man mantra recitation. And lastly, you have to have a strong faith, a devotion in uh, Tara, Arya Tara, uh, the wisdom mother, Tara. And so once you have the, the recognize uh, the fear and develop the uh, strong uh, this, this sense of uh, wonder free from this fear, and then have the faith, develop a faith in Arya Tara, and then, then you recite in the mantra, and I will be uh, definitely you will uh, be benefit. Uh, you will see the benefits, and you will be benefited. Um, I do make this request is because uh, right now, and uh, as required by the federal and the state uh, government, um, we do have to stay home and to cope with uh, uh, this uh, uh, terrible virus. Um, so I understand. And for some of you, it is difficult to, to stay a very long time, a uh, period of a long time, uh, quarantine, and uh, or practice some kind of a forceful uh, isolation <clears throat> and being all the isolation or the sort of, uh, uh, yes, isolated by itself for a long time. And I understand that it's difficult. And uh, some of you might even thinking that uh, I don't care. I'm not worried about. Uh, I don't care. I'm die or not, and uh, so I don't care. You probably have uh, that uh, kind of attitude, and uh, which is that uh, they uh, think about this. Uh, that's an uh, attitude you you are uh, have. Uh, just uh, uh, you have in case that uh, you must understand. Uh, yes, in this particular uh, period of time and cases, and uh, you can be die right if you uh, uh, choose and do so. But you have to know the death, uh, uh, it's not just at this point, it's not only uh, affect you, but affect the community, affect uh, everyone and uh, uh, that you have any form of a relationship with. So therefore, the death in, uh, in this pandemic uh, 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 situation is not just individual's uh, uh, problem, but it's the problem of the whole community. So therefore, uh, protect yourself Taking care of yourself, protect yourself, meaning that you protect uh, not only yourself, but the community, uh, your neighbor, and your fa your family, your neighbor, and uh, your community, and uh, your nation, your the, the whole world. Okay? And like uh, I repeatedly said before, Buddha said, uh, you are your own master, and you are your own enemy. And uh, so think about this uh, phrase, uh, or I think it is a quote and a teaching again. So what does this mean? You are your own master. In this particular context, again, it's very important. It is true. If you protect yourself well, and in fact, you're not only doing the something favor to yourself, but you do the favor for others, for all the uh, community, other community members too. So therefore, in the, uh, when you have this sense of loneliness, say, oh, I'm by myself, it's just so terrible, you know, I'm lonely and it just feels restless. Whenever you have this fear or the restlessness, uh, anything that causes you feels uh, uh, unpleasant, unhappy, again, immediately think about uh, the uh, Arya Tara and the uh, uh, Wisdom Mother and uh, think about her, meditate on her, and her image is like a, you know, about uh, 16 years old and uh, very youthful and uh, um, gorgeous looking and very compassionate and blissful, powerful uh, and uh, the, the object of protection. So turn to 
uh, your sense of loneliness, uh, unpleasantness, uh, unhappy or restless, anything you feel at, uh, on ease, okay? Any, uh, at the, when you feel on ease, unpleasant immediately and turn to her and then recite and uh, uh, so her. Um, so this is the way you will not only cope uh, you know, the, the problems you have uh, you facing, but uh, you can develop, uh, take it as a great opportunity to develop uh, uh, awesome, uh, spiritual, um, very joyful and, and uh, uh, valuable uh, spiritual and uh, uh, experience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go uh, to your uh, mind training. The uh, like the rays of the sun uh, on your uh, copy in uh, page 48. 48. And from the top down, and you go to uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, yes, so go to the uh, the, the uh, about the page uh, the line uh, 11th. Uh, oh, so if you do have the copies, I guess you say, and never mind, and uh, okay, here is the thing. And uh, uh, it says, this selfish thought holding up the bag of the three poisons is the thief within us, so we read this, who destroy our uh, harvest of the virtue. And uh, so now we're going to read it today here. By collecting routine, world, uh, worthless things in the cave of our heart, we have here within us within us an all-headed uh, deceiver who attracts all human and inhuman uh, interference. And then it continues. In the field of uh, action are planted the seeds of uh, consciousness, ir irrigating them over and over again with the waters of uh, desire and craving is the farmer here within us who cultivate the numerous shoots of the five or six kinds of suffering beings, even though the previous Buddhas, the, 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 the transcendent uh, subduers, have spent. Mm. <laughs> Namtokanilangi <laughs> Tomorrow, 
selling you the sabaton leban you tiki set up big one and then also chi kiwa leon kiwa leon so tell a chin around you give out on chowat on now also rounding you were tits a thing you satic hours in hands and being hands and chicken in on young you raise or that tea don't do the tegura don't do the tea so here it gave us a um the author gave us uh, the two metaphors and uh, through these two metaphors and uh, uh, help us to understand uh, the uh, the the device or, or the uh, the faults uh, in the uh, the negativities of uh, self cherishment okay. here the first uh, metaphor is uh, all uh, all headed okay uh, so an all headed and a deceiver. So all headed deceiver is the first uh, for that to represent uh, uh, the self cherishment, and the and the second is the uh, uh, the, the farmer um, who craving or desire uh, cultivating and the everything. So the. That again is a, a represented self cherishment, and uh, what these two metaphors is telling us is uh, is that uh, our sense of uh, uh, self centeredness, or self importance, right, um, uh, or ego, uh, ego, and uh, or egoism, and basically is the production of our uh, sense of uh, appearance and uh, the discursive thoughts. So. Uh, or our way to respond to uh, the way we respond to the appearance. So appearance, our misunderstanding or misinterpretation of the uh, value and uh, status of appearance, and uh, which gave the uh, uh, sort of misleads us, right, and uh, uh, put us under the uh, wrong or missing uh, uh, wrong impression. And uh, under that uh, impression, wrong impression. The discursive thoughts began to uh, 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 affect our uh, uh, with the way we how we responded. So the, typically, and the, the way we expect we respect to uh, react to our appearance, and in this case, life experiences or any uh, sense of uh, sort of the things or events, is that I. So the, the importance of sense of I or the this I, you, you sort of experience the, the uh, self-centeredness. And this self-centeredness, of course, naturally uh, puts you and uh, this is in the spot that uh, where you're going to protect yourself or do something for your own favor and, uh, uh, and do whatever you feel that uh, it's, uh, 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 appears to you is, is uh, pleasant or important to that very sense of you or me or I. And uh, so because this self judgment which um, developed uh, um, uh, as a result of a misinterpretation and of uh, this, uh, uh, the, uh, the status of appearance, and then what happened is that uh, you you typically you have the two you go you're going to through the process of a two um, a different uh, mode of uh, uh, state of mind or the mental experience. One is that uh, craving, uh, craving that you want to have it, right? You want to and you desire for something. You want to have it. You want to keep it, right? And then while you are struggle with this you will try to achieve your goal right or you could achieve your goal and then you have, once you achieve your goal you want to maintain a state of pleasantness or the enjoyable uh, sometimes uh, give it the sense of uh, sort of uh, 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 self sent uh, uh, the field self-centeredness that uh, your desire and while you are maintaining try to maintain this if anything happen which is sort of uh, uh, challenges you all right and uh, makes it you difficult to maintain continue remain on this state and then a state of uh, that desirable and right uh, uh, experience and then you will experience second uh, 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 the uh, ment uh, mind uh, a mental uh, experience that is uh, the revenge or uh, responded to it with the very uh, neg negatively 
and that means that you're going to uh, develop the or experience the harmful uh, thoughts or the thought that is damaging and uh, 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 very negative. And um, so because, see, this you are sort of rotating, right? And uh, between these two uh, thoughts, uh, mental states uh, from a craving and, uh, and to the uh, harmful uh, uh, thoughts, and uh, so again and over and over. Um, so, but we never really pay attention how come we are arrived at this point? Why we are sort of uh, fell in the traps of this state of uh, so and craving and then uh, responded very negatively and right? You know, why we between this? So the answer uh, why we are here, we experience this from Buddhist point of view. That is because of the avidya or because of the ignorance. Um, or in other words, is uh, moha in Sanskrit, and, and uh, so moha or uh, uh, ignorance. Because of ignorance of uh, the sense of self uh, or yourself, the status of yourself, of who you really are, and then you respond that way. Um, so that's why the first metaphor tells us is deceiver, right? Deceiver. And then the second metaphor is about farmer. Again, that's uh, because you are uh, you're doing this thing is. Uh, sort of a really a without a clear understanding, you're doing it again, again, you accumulate, right, all kinds of uh, karma, and then in result, and then you're going to, like a farmer, uh, and uh, uh, receive the harvest, right? And we humans are, as a result of our own uh, act actions, you know, right, um, and our behavior, our thoughts, and then our the, uh, the way we responded to our thoughts, Right, and then it turns out that within the framework of a samsara and the cyclic existence, we were born, forced to reborn into either five or six different types of uh, uh, samsaric being, and uh, so from the peak of the existence all the way to hell, and we sort of uh, again it's a routine and uh, spin or uh, uh, rotating this over, over, over again, and again. And our experience is, uh, uh, this is our experience. So see, ignorance and to give you the, right, this uh, generator that uh, uh, forms and the names, that sort of kind of identity, right? And then uh, you attach to the identity. So attachment encourages you, or forces you uh, to uh, get in what you wanted, right? Because it's attachment and then action follow that attachment you want to get. You want to take it, uh, have it, and uh, then that uh, under the such a conditions, right? A caused by this, and the uh, uh, cause and the condition, under such a cause and the influence by such a causes and the uh, conditions. So and then you do the, uh, take it uh, uh, rebirth. You born again, and uh, once you're born, then you have to experience the, the pain of the uh, birth and. Uh, uh, aging and the uh, and the uh, illness uh, illness and then the finally death and then start everything over and over. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mon chant se me sentit comme de des nantantes. Rendu la yon se pas de marcher mais pe. Il rentre une roue son ana ta ton yon dictent dans dictent les divi yon ne quand yon marche mort. Do mort l'opor ton or ton or divi. Yon li de l'eau quand yon de nantantes. Ton boutre. Then you are the Sustained Namaki were Kontaki John Dungaki Ne, Kontan Dong Dungaki Tong. Chella Longsu John Dungaki Longsu in Bali Mandiver, Jumden the Somat, Somat, Wonder, Kambotaki Zondu, Lama Tambi Gujin, Lombali, Tisham, Nichams, Chicken Sun underwater, the Kuri Patola Rewa, Noy the Sem, Tonte, Dobe, Nasum Kun, Nasum Kambote on the Nandus. ま、だ、と、ジェンシーシャンだ。ジェンシー。ああ。単語ってたね、ごんね、3時ちょうどでなそばでちょうどタンゴが3時ちょうどでこうやってガリギャンテレジネ。あね、ノモトンでコラリオ
le lutte sont chez vous, j'ai l'impile le soule, au tendu que c'est bien le soule, le soule vous tire un peu, qui s'y tire dans les états d'avoir des clats dans les états, t'es une chose, t'as le soule qui est un peu, un zin qui est un peu, c'est un peu, 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 un Dengki ni res, kau tu doa yang dengki tores, kau tu longcho pun ada dengki longcho res. Res ini sanji cuma tu songi orang, songi tu gondet tu cewa le songa tu sosu rangge tu kisah kau tu kau kau tu semua asal tu res. Lama tak begini ni tu, sebagai sini tu tak boleh ngalih thoni sosu ngiri orang tu. Ina tu nang aru sem tang ni tu cuni, tela sem show mat tu aje, kati nang dobi orang dengi sola pa, cekin selan tu aje, cek tu tu sosu tu, pangcik tu sosu ni macam tu tu. Orang kata kata kalau jigo orang, tapi jigo nak orang marah tak ni orang marah. Tapi tapi jigo nak orang, sana dah orang orang. Kau pun cuma lalu mungkin saja. Kau pun cuma sana yang tak cuci nol orang cuma jadi dia ni kau ni. Tapi jigo tu dengan dia. Tapi kalau yang nak suruh tu jigo ini ni orang orang susu pelik tu ni telah malu amat yang orang buat. Nasim jigo ni lah. Nasim tu orang nasim jadi macam tu lah. Nasim jadi orang orang jadi orang jadi marik pi orang tu. Nasim tu orang nasim jadi orang tu sem liki ni nama tu ngah kanama. Ini nama sem saya tu, nama sem nama sem apa? Nama sem saya tu, tu top na, sampai ngah dah rewat ke, rewi kau ni, tak jilo. Tiada tu rewat itu pun jauh kau ni. Tiada tu top ke, kuli pasu, tak dapat tiada tu jilo. Ingin orang ni, tiada tiada tawa ke, tujuh jam itu kau kau, kalau tujuh jam sahaja jilo ni, konsum tu dah tujuh jam itu dah. Tawa pun tak jilo, lama tak nak dekat tu, tiada orang ngah tu pun tujuh jam itu dah siap, kuli pasu pun dah jilo orang. Tiada tu, tiada jilo ni jilo ni dah kau tu, tiada pasu tu pun. Tetapi orang yang orang zaman zaman kita ni lang ni tiada wang tu sana orang ramai baca di jiran guna tet tetapi sana ana nasib kita kambuh tu nasib kita kambuh tu yang dengan tu nasib dengan tak ko cakap pun tu remisan mengajar lewat canggih tetapi tuh tu kita nong cik jenis ni tetapi kita kita mukhun benih zul tu yang orang bersen tang lagi orang esia nasib tiga zul lagi orang esia tetapi mana orang cinta tu tu nasib bukan tu jadi tu orang tiap gang gang kita ni ni lelul lagi ni siapa Orang tuh kita susu tuh kita orang cincin tuh tete tuh cincin tuh nanti nyomu pajak kita kita kisah kita wah. Um so um here it says even though the previous Buddhas and uh, and transcendent uh, beings uh, a transcendent subduers have spent. As long as us in this beginningless world, we have been unable to adhere to any of the excellent qualities of this or the world beyond. So here within us is a naked, empty-handed slob behavior behaving over uh, indulgently. Wherever we are born, from the peak of existence to the hell without uh, respite, respite, we dwell in misery. Whoever we be friends is a friend of suffering. Whatever objects we use are nothing but objects of uh, uh, anguish. They are the words of the Buddha, the transcendent to subdue, found in the text of the learned masters who commented on his thought and are to be heard in the sounds of uh, realizations of uh, the supreme spiritual master. Yet, even though this is definitely the case, like an old dog attracted to a, a scrap of food, the plant, uh, the glutton, the glutton within us is constantly uh, engrossed in the uh, marvels of a cyclic existence. Um, so here again we have uh, uh, the metaphors 
and it teaches us uh, uh, how our grasping of self of person or in this particular context the self cherishment is uh, has been manifested or is been you know, sort of uh, um, revealed uh, itself from time to time uh, 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 the, in the various cases uh, um, so here the, uh, the what the author say is that uh, you know when you look at the Buddha and uh, uh, Buddha Shakyamuni as example and uh, you know that uh, Buddha Ha, uh, was right then prior to the enlightenment to the a moment moment uh, of the enlightenment uh, the final um, uh, fully achievement of fully enlightenment the Buddha was um, uh, one of the uh, like one of us but uh, because he um, diligently uh, dedicated to the Dharma practice and and uh, so he fight uh, over and to uh, conquer his self cherishment and uh, he finally he be able to overcome uh, uh, the suffering and the causes of suffering and become an, an uh, fully enlightened one if we take uh, the Shakyamuni Buddha and uh, as an example, then look at and uh, compare to our uh, conditions, our situation, and uh, we know that uh, we also had uh, this uh, kind of same kind of situation from beginning last uh, um, time. We took it the con uh, countless numbers of uh, uh, rebirth, but our uh, so far at this point, what we achieved is uh, we got uh, equal opportunity like Shakyamuni Buddha had. Uh, before he attained enlightenment, but uh, we got uh, our hands empty, so we still uh, achieved, uh, uh, haven't achieved our enlightenment yet. Why this happened? Right? What are the causes of this? What brought us to this uh, uh, under such a uh, uh, the situation? And it, that is because of uh, uh, laziness, right? And we're lazy because. Uh, uh, first of all, and uh, we think that uh, we can't do it. That is not our uh, uh, cup of tea, and uh, so we are inadequate to do that, right? Um, or we postpone it to say we do later, right? Um, or tomorrow, uh, uh, even the next lifetime. So you are procrastinating, right? And then other laziness is that uh, you constantly say you are busy, you have no time, okay? And by attached to bad, meaningless, and a pointless uh, uh, worldly activity, right? In the name of uh, you are so busy, so therefore, and uh, you didn't take the chance, and you failed to uh, take the advantages of the opportunities you had um, up until this point, right? So therefore, the laziness is uh, uh, the main cause uh, which contributes to the, all the, uh, your whatever you are uh, here, the, have empty, uh, you got empty handed, empty handed, uh, handed because of the three, uh, those three lazinesses, okay? And those three lazinesses, again, is the manifestation of, uh, is a self cherishment. So you attach yourself, you cherish yourself in a, such a very negative way, is a meaningless way. Okay? And because of that, yeah, you're born and you got aged and you experienced the, all kinds of illness and uh, right, you went through all kinds of uh, the sufferings. Right? And uh, another uh, point in the author tried to make is that uh, um, the, so other than the la being a lazy, that uh, we also uh, you know, failed to really uh, uh, to practice is because not because of uh, um, the uh, we uh, we not uh, never uh, we never understand or we have no knowledge uh, not to be informed about the Buddha's teaching. Okay, for um, many the the, uh, uh, the followers of uh, the Buddhist tradition, we know that uh, we understand the Buddha's uh, uh, what the Buddha taught in the script uh, in the scripture. Right, and we learned from scripture about Buddha's teaching, and we also heard that the, our teacher, the lamas, and the, the abbot, 
or the uh, uh, former Dharma teachers who taught us, who commenting on the Buddha scripture, so we be informed, right? We understand, and uh, we even have the faith or appreciation and do whatever we uh, learned because it does make sense. We understand that, and but nevertheless, right? We despite we understand, we think we understand, we know we have the adequate knowledge, but we still uh, we still not uh, fully engaging and then undertaking those teachings and uh, and practice them and implementing those teachings in our day to day life, and uh, so uh, we the way instead of responded to those uh, wonderful teachings and uh, um, the greatest spiritual instruction and actively uh, right practice them we are. The way we live is like uh, the uh, all the dog who been attracted to uh, food, right? A portion of uh, food, and uh, who compl- as soon as saw the food, who it's completely eleven o'clock. In there, anything uh, or everything, and uh, but just uh, to jump into that uh, food, um, then uh, disregard the everything that uh, he uh, how the important, the very important things that he or she needed to do. That's uh, so our action, the way we responded to this uh, uh, valuable and uh, uh, profound, uh, important spiritual teachings, and uh, nothing better than an uh, old dog uh, uh, who saw uh, food and then um, totally forgot uh, uh, what is uh, more important than that uh, the food he saw or he, uh, he found. It. So this again, why are we doing so, right? Why are we responded to the, uh, the wonderful teaching, the sacred teachings uh, we learned, we understand that's the important, it's good, is because uh, another form of uh, self cherishment is, uh, 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 is working or is a uh, uh, play the, uh, the game. And that uh, game, uh, the self cherishment in this case is uh, uh, revealed or uh, Acting and uh, uh, the way it acting is uh, through the uh, uh, what do we call as a covetousness, okay? Uh, by the uh, play, the form of a mentality uh, that is covetousness. Covetousness, uh, um, uh, the covetousness is uh, uh, one of the three um, mental uh, uh, the, uh, deep, uh, no, and, uh, vice, right? We have a three mental vice or three uh, the non-virtuous ment- mentality. The first uh, non-virtuous mentality um, is a uh, harmful intention, right? And and then second is ignorance, and then another is covetousness. So here, covetousness is a greedy. It's, again, is a form of clinging and craving, uh, craving um, for. Uh, Sensation, something is sensational, and something is a, a sensory a pleasure at, at a sensory level. So, so our attachment to the self, our self cherishment is in this particular case, we acting like old dog, and right, and we disregard this, uh, the sacred uh, spiritual teaching taught by Buddha is because of uh, this craving and uh, or covetousness. And uh, it, when you think about this, it really is a kind of sometimes uh, you know making you uh, wonder why. For example, we have 24 hours, right? 24 hours is a long uh, uh, time. It's a lot of hours, and uh, even if we cannot put uh, the practice into 24 hours, and uh, we should take at least two hours. But in, in reality, we even don't put uh, the two hours into our practice, right? And uh, so although we we are the ones who uh, believe there is a nirvana or there is a liberation, liberation can be achieved. A liberation should be our ultimate goal, and we should have, uh, at, uh, at try to achieve it. Right? Yet, within 24 hours, we don't put two hours to achieve the liberation. And why it is so? Again, that's because the self cherishment. Okay. And uh, uh, the self-judgment is generated and uh, like it motivates us 
uh, manifest into a motivation. The motivation is to say, you know, these things are more important, and meaning that uh, worldly and sensational and something is uh, uh, pleasurable at a sensational, uh, at sense level or sen uh, sensory level. Um, so that's how we be fooled, right? We'll be fooled. So judgment and uh, manifested it as covetousness, um, and then fool, fool us that way. Um, so we have to know this, uh, and that makes us have no time, right? And just busy, and never be able to uh, implement in the holy teachings, uh, sacred uh, uh, teachings we learned. Oh, <laughs> Not to Tomato, Chame Pisani, the Sir Hoy Nova Chambo, Jason de Tony, Shilling Gopi, Rakti Tama, Tiba Re Cambodian, the Nandus, Dante Redo, Nangin Chibutita, the Chitane, the Jacat and Donka, Daka, she be taught the young Kitchil, Kitchel Top the Rini, Tongersil, Jung. Don't Chitan Amagam, the <laughs> Nazis, <laughs> <clears throat> when a meditator uh, intervenes to pacify uh, military uh, mil military conflicts, such a confusion arises from uh, fundamental uncertainty over whether benefits will or will not be uh, forthcoming. So it is with us because of uh, fundamental uncertainty about whether our fears will lead to trouble or not. We have within us a uh, coward. 
who can only guess whether the barrier he construct constructs will uh, suffice to ally his fear that one major hurt will ruin him again. We fight with the swords, arrows, and spears in hope of uh, gaining victory and profit. And when we lose, we console ourselves by accusing somebody else. We have within us an evil being who shamelessly blames all problems on our learned teachers and abbots, our friends, and who's uh, dear to us, uh, those who are dear to us, our parents and relatives. Um, so again, we are here continue to learn how the self cherishment have been manifested or revealed um, or sort of uh, uh, on um, uh, disclosed and uh, so um, it's been uh, sort of uh, uh, coming into the thing and in our uh, day to day practice, right? In general, we know we have the sense of I, and then next we naturally have uh, the sense of uh, me, and, and uh, then of course uh, that naturally we will have uh, the mine, right? So I and my, and that's our experience of ourself. And uh, this sense of, uh, particularly in this particular context, is uh, uh, self cherishment is a sense of uh, or perception, which is a misperception, a misconception of self, the misconception of our self, right? And that leads us to say, I and the mind, right? And this misconception of a self. And uh, then we make this clear distinction between us and others, or ourselves and the others, right? And uh, this distinction we made it so clearly, right? And then further, sort of justify us, or encourage us, or sort of give us uh, some kind of uh, rights in uh, to fight over and or to do uh, uh, to take action, try to gain something, to get uh, and the benefit something that we consider the benefits or profitable, right? Something is beneficial and profitable that we uh, try to do. And why we do that, right? And this misconception of self, why we do that is because of hope, right? The hope for the, uh, something good for us, ourselves, and pleasurable for ourselves. The hope is uh, uh, now is manifested. Uh, the self cherishment is manifested uh, through the mentality which we call the hope, right? And this ill mentality of uh, hope uh, driven by the self cherishment um, or produced by the self cherishment uh, and of course it's naturally want us to uh, obtain to gain and to get uh, uh, more uh, or try to uh, uh, seeking for something which, which we wanted right and then this is men uh, uh, your mentality or more, uh, wrong uh, mentality that is uh, the uh, misperception, a misconception of self. At the same time, not only give us hope, so put us uh, into the sort of a spot of hope, right? Or the uh, the the the, the uh, yes, make us feel hopeful or and being hope hope for something that's for ourselves all the time, at the same time also put us at another spot. That spot is a um, discursive thought, or you can say auspicious, uh, uh, auspicious, uh, uh, suspiciousness, uh, or wondering, uh, or the sense of uh, uh, the distrust, right? And uh, here in this particular context, probably the sense of distrust, and uh, uh, or the uh, fear, right? The fear is that 
while we were hoping to get something for ourselves, once we get it, and uh, uh, so our wish, our hope been fulfilled, and then we naturally and uh, immediately will have the this uh, uh, become so uh, the suspicious, or uh, become uh, the, the we experience the thoughts or the uh, the mind of fear, uh, uncertainty, and uh, we will, will become uh, uh, worried about whether somebody is going to uh, uh, come in and take uh, what we have again achieved or do something and uh, uh, bring the harm um, it, uh, for us and uh, to us and then do something that uh, make us feel uh, 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 difficult. So this hope and the fear uh, um, is definitely is the uh, the cause of uh, in this uh, all the trouble, and but in this particular context, as I said, is a hope and a fear, and uh, is is actually is the manifestation or it's the embodiment of our misconception of a self, and is self cherishment, right? And then when you when you go on, it here says that. Uh, and uh, such an influence, right? Such misconception of self, and, and uh, we uh, do whatever we can, like uh, uh, so. We take the knife or a guns, a sword, and right, uh, whatever the weapons uh, or anything, and uh, uh, we go fight physically and uh, uh, engage in, in the terrible and the battles, right? And uh, bloodshed. Um, so uh, we we try to. Um, uh, achieve what uh, we think is uh, uh, good for us, right? And uh, at the same time, we try to defeat others and uh, uh, by, uh, by trying to destroy others, uh, we believe they're going to hurt us or uh, potentially it's been going to be very harmful and uh, then we try to uh, uh, destroy them. So this is seeking for the benefits uh, seeking for something as a, a victory and seeking something as a, a profitable or profit itself um, is a kind of a, you know you know first if we uh, our self judgment is like a, acting like a coward right coward who is sort of say you know I can't do that right um, but same. The same ill mentality, the self judgment also becomes something sort of a brave and uh, we're going and fighting over and try to achieve it, uh, one's goal that's the profitable for the, uh, the to, to fulfill the desire of self judgment. But once we got lost or not achieving what we wanted, right? Or when do we turn to blame on others? And such as like our uh, the teachings we have learned and the teachers were taught us our masters and the lamas and teachers right and so whatever they uh, were taught us and we're going to blame say they are the one who made this happen so in this particular context right self cherishment is manifested as something as which is a shameless right and shameless and which is it is shameless because it has no really sense of uh, um, shame, who instead says, oh, I am the one who felt to misunderstand, right, and who did this because of uh, my uh, misperception of self, instead of blame on themselves, and they blame on others. Here, so the self cherishment has been manifested as a sh uh, uh, the, uh, the shameless, uh, um, the uh, person who is shamelessly doing that. Awesome. <laughs> Cooking 
Jen Pembersi Wigin, Nga Georgian, teacher young in the Jigian Sine, Babajena, the Rewada Dratri, Rewada Tobareto, Jim Zumpina, Marcini, you cut the German Hitler, Mogar, and Zamula Moya Krung, Rewade, Zamun, the Yons Wangi, won't give Chininga the Pete, Dachia Mills Wigin, some Samu, the Kiniko Mogan, Mimongo Sotin, to the cheer the Tamate, and the Login of Bulhan Krung. Hamachumaru. <laughs> Rewat yona ti kono dumbai mo, dumbai tela dumbai mo. Dumbai yona dumbai ti tong sombai mo. Sombai yona sodi sodi na gawa chua mo. Kito mo ni kali jab thwa chuna sodi seko mo marta. Gawa la chua mo ni ni kali jab thmi tela sodi seko. Sodi yona tela te ni ni chige thisum ko thisum sherp tu kono kono pepe. Te thisum ko thisum sherp tu kono kono pepe pepe sona ani so rani ke sem ke dumga ni chige nyomu icha masi icha sem dhrat sema ma 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 maya chani. And it's some Zambo to be a quantity of the same thing, the shell of one journal, also so on you could send to Chatamani. Guess some good Jaman to Jerome Sutta and Zing Shetty, Sindela, they were Tishamala, they were Tingu, or Tigu, or Tesa, the Tamitan, did it Petrichit on the end on the pass on the Sanutani. What other dish you did some at the car share with the division you sent the reason Allah, so soon at the Mundu, and then Asam and Osam Bokta, Monsieur, the water in the energy. Kiss them to the summer. Otuzutende Katuchan some girls have its commercial, Tambu, Komdu, sent missing or guns and guns yard. That Lojong said it is a Lojong, Lojong, the Sibigatama. In Bangins, the same Yarate in Bangins, Jetting, Yarate competent, you got Miazo, Multiplicity, the same as any to Tomba County. So Gom Yam Samu Tang, the same of Chevches, if they were in. Uh, so let's uh, do a quick review and um, a brief uh, uh, summary. Here, uh, again, uh, I have to make it clear. And uh, we talked about uh, the hope and the fear, or uh, uh, hope and the, the, the discursive thoughts, uh, you know, hope, or hope and uh, the uh, 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 suspiciousness, and uh, so when you hear the hope and uh, uh, the word of hope, uh, we have to know this, and uh, we have to put this in the context. Okay? Hope here is that uh, any hope, and the uh, uh, hope here is, is uh, uh, referred to that um, the self cherishment or hope is, is as a, uh, the manifest uh, as the embodiment or manifested. Uh, it's been uh, the uh, it is manifested as a uh, no, the sort of outer appearance of uh, the self cherishment. Okay, that hope we are talking about is uh, uh, the one we need uh, uh, eliminate. We needed to uh, uh, understand that then that is uh, the causes of uh, problem. Uh, so in other words, this is uh, the hope we talk about, not the general uh, sense, and uh, but to talk in the specific context, right? 
Um, so in general, again, we know that we have to have hope, right? And, uh, but uh, the hope is, uh, has to be have a clear goal, right? A purpose. And uh, the hope with uh, uh, linked with a, a clear, uh, virtuous purpose, then you have the trust or faith in that very purpose. Okay. So you have the uh, uh, goal and, uh, and then you trust it. Uh, uh, you have the confidence that you can achieve that goal. So that kind of hope is generally and uh, uh, it's it is a valid hope and 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 it's a, a it's the hope we needed in fact but the hope we are saying here in the context context of self cherishment or as the manifestation of uh, uh, the misconception of self self cherishment that thing that hope we need to abandon we need to eliminate okay um, so let's say again further, and if you have hope, there's a, I hope you know, I can uh, address and help others and to free others from the suffering and cause of suffering, I want to bring and the happiness and joy to others. Right? And so this is the right hope. This is a good hope. You have a clear goal and you hope you want to achieve this goal. So this is general hope and this positive hope and uh, uh, we have to have it, right? But the negative hope, the hope in the context of self cherishment or as the manifestation uh, of being triggered, uh, generated by self cherishment, that hope is, is, uh, uh, it, it's totally negative. A great example I can give you is like uh, during the Second World War, um, we have a, the, the, uh, the monster and the, uh, Hitler, right? Hitler, why he uh, did what he did is because he had this uh, hope, right? The, his hope is that he's going to uh, defeat, uh, conquer the entire world, and uh, for his uh, uh, this understanding of uh, uh, the, the importance of uh, himself. And his sense of uh, the self uh, and, uh, uh, achievement or something that uh, he considers is so important. So his ego and uh, self cherishment and manifested and uh, gave him a strong hope and desire. And then he executed and uh, empowered that hope and then and uh, did what he did. And as uh, we know in the history, right, caused uh, uh, millions, millions, millions of people and uh, uh, the, the death and, and, and tremendous suffering and uh, to uh, to the world. So, so we definitely and in, in, uh, uh, talking the uh, that type of hope is uh, absolutely negative. Um, but uh, other form of hope, like I said be before, so if you say and check yourself actually, see whether you have a hope in your mind. If you hope, if you have, have a hope in your mind, a hope arise in your mind, it's the inspiration, right? You feel so inspirational, you think that, uh, check the, the nature of the inspiration. Say, oh, I want to do something in, for others. So I want to achieve that because that's going to be help, uh, very helpful, useful for others. If you have this kind of hope, this kind of inspiration, yes, to stick on to that and, and empower and uh, uh, enhance that power of that inspiration and maintain it and try to achieve whatever the hope is that leads you to achieve. Because this time now, this the hope you have is a, a manifestation. It, it is the manifestation of uh, others' cherishment. It's not a self cherishment, uh, no longer self cherishment, but it's the self. It's a manifestation of uh, others' cherishment. Okay, so hope triggered uh, by the others' cherishment is the great hope. Is a spiritual uh, uh, quality, mm -hmm. and we need to have that. In fact, we need to develop and uh, that kind of uh, other uh, hope, uh, which is. Uh, a, we developed it and uh, or, uh, it, it's uh, been done or created by the self, uh, uh, the other's cherishment, not self-cherishment. 
once we have this hope for you know, do something for others, right? And you have this desire, this inspiration, and then um, you you will put a, a, a your mental, a verbal, and bodily action into what we call the joyful perseverance. A joyful perseverance. You're going to dedicate yourself and result and uh, resolved to do something to achieve something. And uh, so here I'm a, uh, I, I'm, I must make uh, the distinctions and show you the distinctions between the hard working and joyful perseverance. Okay. Joyful perseverance uh, um, is uh, the attitude and uh, as action and a combined attitude that is that uh, you doing things with uh, with great joy and uh, 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 with very positive mental and uh, attitude and uh, a strong energy and uh, uh, which is uh, very inspirational, uh, very inspiring, and uh, and and uh, and, uh, and it, uh, you feel great joy and a uh, uh, very uh, positive. Right. So that is joyful perseverance. A hard working is uh, you feel so obligated and uh, under the stress, and you feel so tremendous uh, 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 pressure that you need to achieve. It. That is hard working. It's not a, a joyful perseverance. Why? Because there's no any joy. You just feel so you're obligated to do so. And but the, the Dharma practice is not hard work. It doesn't require hard work, but rather it requires uh, the joyful perseverance. The reason for this is because only the joyful perseverance makes uh, your task um, sustainable. Okay, this is particularly true when you engage into the Dharma, the three phases of a Dharma practice, meaning hearing, uh, okay, and uh, uh, contemplation and meditation. Um, so you, uh, your dedication of practice of uh, uh, the first phase of first stage and the hearing stage, and then uh, and move to the, uh, promote to the uh, contemplation stage, and then move to the meditation stage, all these uh, stages has to be sort of uh, started with based upon the joyful rest, uh, 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 joyful perseverance, and and and, and, and only with this. And so you are hearing a practice of hearing of the Dharma, practice of uh, contemplation of the Dharma, and the practice of the uh, meditation of the Dharma will um, uh, develop the wisdom, and then the wisdom will. Um, uh, uh, clearly and uh, uh, they make you to see and uh, what is true and uh, what is the illusion. Okay? And uh, so because uh, wisdom is like a light and make it everything transparent and clearly uh, uh, they uh, uh, reveal and uh, it's a true status. So, and then from this uh, wisdom, uh, or because of this wisdom, and you can um, be more uh, 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 successful in your practice of uh, uh, kindness and loving and uh, uh, compassion, uh, because you understand uh, uh, so well. So, in the, yes, so the, I'm going, I, I am uh, in the, here commenting on this text, uh, and so, in a way, it's like instructing you on um, how to uh, 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 the practice your uh, 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 Buddha Dharma. And uh, um, so, it seems uh, we are discussing the, uh, uh, something that's uh, quite uh, and, uh, uh, sort of uh, um, extensive uh, and uh, uh, and uh, involved with a great uh, uh, depth. Um, but uh, the simple, we can simplify this. The the simplify the way to simplify this that is, uh, um, we need to check up, examine our own mind, look at uh, into uh, uh, inside, and turn all the attentions inwardly, inwardly, and examine your attitude. See uh, what kind of uh, uh, I are you experiencing. If you're experiencing the I, which is only aimed for self, uh, individual self benefits and uh, uh, focus on the individuals gaining and or fear of uh, individuals losing, then we uh, we needed to uh, change that attitude. Um, if we find that uh, we have the uh, thoughts, a hope, 
and uh, uh, or inspired by a good idea like uh, I want to achieve this because it's going to be helpful uh, and uh, many others. So in other words, you experiencing the thoughts, the hope, the inspiration that is driven by um, the others' cherishment, then yes, you need to go on and uh, implement it and uh, to inf uh, the in enhance its uh, power. So uh, this is what the, the really Dharma is, right? And Dharma meaning uh, means that change the mind and change the mind here is uh, to uh, eliminate the negative uh, aspect of your mind to enhance and, and uh, to develop and enhance a perfect uh, your positive aspect of uh, your mind. So that is Dharma and that is the change of the mind and that is the transformation of the mind. Indeed, you know, we, we try to uh, hear a lot of Dharma, right, and go through the process of uh, uh, hearing and then and go through the process of uh, contemplation, finally in, into uh, uh, a perfect uh, our practice, the, the Dharma knowledge which we hear and we contemplated. And in the meditation itself, all this is aimed to achieve one thing that is to uh, transforming our basic uh, mental attitude, a state of our mind. Uh, so, our goal is to achieve the wisdom, right? And uh, uh, the uh, the ultimate the understanding the uh, the understanding the correct understanding of our, uh, the ultimate state of uh, and uh, our being and the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the phenomena and uh, so uh, yes and then the, with this wisdom being developed and then we can rely on this wisdom and depend upon this wisdom and uh, and then and, and it can become uh, very uh, compassionate and, uh, and then we can do whatever we can and to help uh, serve others so this way our virtues uh, uh, our virtual merits were increasing and uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and our uh, uh, spiritual and uh, realization will be uh, uh, achieved. So anyway, and uh, lastly, uh, we are doing something and uh, uh, we call it the mind training. So this is the mind training and uh, mind training in the simple way or in the uh, very simplest words is that to uh, understand what is good, uh, 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 the good mind and then execute it and they implemented that with good mind. And what is the negative mind or the uh, uh, bad thoughts? And uh, try to eliminate it and, uh, that uh, mind and try to uh, vanish or uh, completely abandon that mind. This is the training of the essence of the training of the mind. And I hope uh, again we are quarantine or uh, doing something a uh, practice like a self isolation. I hope you take advantage and use the time which you have now and to uh, uh, put it in all of them into your dharma practice and do something very beneficial for yourself and for others. Oh yeah, that's all. Oh, yeah. That's all. Uh, so that's all for today. Thank you for your attention and thank you for coming again. <clears throat>
Ah, 